<clears throat> Good morning to those who listen. October 9th, 2024, 11.47 a.m. And another uh, video through 5280 Skywatch. But it's uh, Richie from Boston, the Jailbreak Overlander channel. <clears throat> For some reason, I didn't see this one yet, but maybe it's down farther in my history. Um, but he's talking about all the stuff that's going on. So I just saw, uh, they're talking Nadine storm. I don't know if it's a tropical storm or whatever, but Nadine is on a path to Florida now. Milton's not even there yet, but now we got to worry about another hurricane that might hit Florida. But he's talking about all the stuff that's going on now. If you remember just a few days ago, Bank of America customers got on their their uh, bank accounts and they were they said you know the social to zero balance <clears throat> so that another hack attack well, so there's balance. more Didn't hack you attacks sure. you see what i'm saying and then oddly enough this just did 14 America's states supplier of drinking water has been hacked 14 Are states you know got hacked for water supply communications. more communications Money. down Survival. Everything is suddenly being it's, hacked, etc., so forth and so it's on. It's crazy. And suddenly in America, there has been a new trend in the last couple of years where you're supposed to be guilty because you're white. You're yeah. supposed to feel guilty because you're a strong, white, prepared male. A grown up. That's what it was always called. Men always do how to do everything, women raised the children. It took care of the home, something that was incredibly important, which is why people had a marriage. But right now, I'm not going to not say anything because this is endgame right here. They are deconstructing the country right in front of our faces. And why do you think they've been jamming LBGTQ and everything else down your throat? Why do you think they want you to feel guilty because of the skin color you were born in? I'm not going to feel guilty. God forbid, God forbid, you're a God-fearing well-prepared, proud, white, straight male. Where's our month? We can't <laughs> have that because that's Nazi. What are you even talking about? What are you even talking about? And the amount of people that bought this bullshit blows me away entirely. I'm letting loose in this video because I'm sure it's going to take the channel down, but I don't care. I don't care because enough of you may see this that it right. might make a difference in some way or the other. But they stuffed this down your throat so bad that you should feel guilty for being a man that this happens. Women getting pregnant is not as far off as you think. In the past 10 years, 50 babies have been born from a uterus transplant. Ugh. How this works is a person with a damaged or missing uterus gets Yeah, that's real. And <laughs> that person is perpetuated dropped into the algorithm, pushed all over the internet, right. when that strange person who's giving out incredibly bad scientific information that 50 men have given birth, it's bullshit, okay? Absolute and utter bullshit. 50 women Sorry about that the maybe decided they want to identify as a man may have given birth, period. No men can give birth. It doesn't work like that. You can't get a uterus transplant. But that's where we're at right now. That's where we're at. We're living in an absolute clown world where you, yep. those things can Trans, they want. Transgenders can get I just showed you transgender surgery in prison. Towards luring in children. I'm, I'm shocked, as you probably are. I'm shocked by that news. <coughs> but don't be, because it's all good. It is what it is. Those are called, uh, what are they called now? They, they're, they're renaming it. They've done a TED Talk to explain how certain people are just attracted to minors. Yeah. Minor attracted people. They're maps. Uh, yeah, maps. Yeah, they used to be called P E D O files. My trunk, but on that I'll digress. At any rate, let's get to the point of this video because there is a point. I'm already at ten minutes. So, with the entire <laughs> country and basically the entire world on fire right now, America is in an absolute calamity right now for so many different reasons. It's crazy. Someone just hacked our main water supply. That's a problem. Yeah, it That's is something that should be noted. The mainstream media is just kicking out these numbers that, oh, a couple of chemical, hundred people died in Asheville. Chemical fires. That's not accurate. A couple of hundred people were filmed floating down a river dead in Asheville. There's thousands of people I haven't there. seen and that video. They're completely and utterly lying. 
But don't worry, no. we'll give them each $750. All the people that are displaced, all they have to do is go online and ask for it. They have no water, they have no houses, they have no nothing. They can't go online. You see what yeah, I'm saying? That's... And now FEMA is saying that they're out of money. They can't do this anymore. Well, we have a yeah, what's going to happen? Storm coming in right now. Milton and then another hurricane? Minutes, no money. A Cat 1 to a Cat 5, and it's allegedly supposed to decimate Florida. And who knows? And then there's also... If there's no money for FEMA, no money, uh, you know, then they make sure that they have enough money to send to foreign countries and, to, you know, make sure that the illegal migrants have luxury uh, housing, luxury hotels, money on cards, free cars, free phones. They got to make sure that they have that. But when the American people need help from a natural disaster... No help can be found. They keep pushing, <clears throat> saying that <clears throat> when we see these channels saying certain things, it's misinformation. Oh, that's not happening. It's like the Springfield stuff, you know, where all the illegal Haitians were there and they were causing all these car accidents and stuff. Oh, no, that doesn't happen. They get a driver's license and they don't have to have you know, insurance, they can just drive around with no license. Come on. What is going on? And yes, there was some. I'm not saying that, yeah, they were, you know, going crazy. But yeah, they were eating some of the pets. So, you know, of course, oh, that's misinformation. That didn't ever happen. Yes, it did happen. But, you know, they had to make sure that it sounded like a crazy conspiracy theory. It's like everything that we're putting out, you know, the truther community, whatever you want to call us, conspiracy theories, whatever. And you know it's true. We've been putting this stuff out for years. And <clears throat> a lot of times it comes true within six months. And, you know, they just keep saying everything that's actually the truth is misinformation. But the misinformation they're claiming is the truth. It's crazy. So I'll just play a little bit more for you from Richie from Boston. And end up in Wyoming. Who knows? Because hurricanes are new. This is all new climate change. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and they're but forcing that too, on, climate change. Where is the person that's running for president? Kamala Harris. Kamala. It Hold on. <clears throat> climate change. You see, hurricanes are new. This is all new climate change. So the climate change thing, that's another... Thing that they're saying and if you say anything against it oh they're conspiracy theories uh. but you know supposedly if they have the power to manipulate weather why can't they manipulate the weather like hurricanes and steer them away from populated areas they can uh weaken them we know what they can do it they can strengthen them and they can steer them where they want to go but they don't seem to want to try to stop these big storms. They just want to make them bigger. You know what I'm saying? But with all this going on, where is the person that's running for president? Yeah. Kamala ha Harris. Kamala. You know, the one that was 30 years old dating a 60-year-old pimping black mayor mm -hmm. to get her, you know, to get her comeuppance. You know what I'm saying? Because that's mm -hmm. who she is. Where is she? She must be addressing the people and calming things down and working with FEMA and getting things squared away, right? Nope. Well, let's go find where Kamala is. We use, do you even know how, like, do you know what a X or Y or Z is of a part of our, and they don't know the answer. I was the first vice president or president to ever in office uh, go to a reproductive health care clinic, ever. So, um, Helena, the storm came. So with the world on fire, Kamala, Kamala, Anybody There's that some crazy you podcast. Say her name inaccurately is woke. I have a yeah. Lot of people ask me what if you woke people mispronounce are. her name, who oh, correct? you're racist. Oh, who, she is. who cares who Harris is? Who cares? She's nobody. She's the actual border czar. Czar. Eleven million undocumented. You see what I'm saying? And everybody gives her a pass because she's on a podcast that's this is literal. Their main focus is on how to give a better blowjob to your other other part. Or how to satisfy your other part anally. Come on. Literally. That's what she's on right now, talking about tampons and everything else. Because 
Because that's more important than the American people. You see what I'm saying? It's more this important to be on that podcast and now, take care of the American people. You still think they're not trying to take the country down? Let me tell you a little They've been doing this for years. This lady isn't fit to run down her front steps, let alone <laughs> run the country. And she's not going to. Or maybe she is. Maybe they'll finally take out Trump or whatever. Right. Who knows what's going to happen, but there'll be some calamity. Yep. And way back in the old days, I said, when they finally went for this, they were going to use weather warfare as part of it, big time. Because plausible deniability. But here's the problem with the plausible deniability. Let's look at this video clip I put up years ago when it was new by Michio Kaku, shall we? And Michio Kaku allegedly is a well-respected physicist, if you didn't know. And now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose. That's right. Lasers. lasers There's the lasers. Oh, somebody was, rain and uh, somebody I know here was like, what, are they using lasers to magnify the weather? As a matter of fact, they are. Extraordinary seeing Al Gore and Bill Clinton there But see, the whole thing is they're not influencing the weather for the positive. They're doing it negatively. They want to have bigger storms. Instead of destroying the storms or steering them away from populated areas, nobody does anything to make it better for people. So why make it worse? But this is experimental. It's experimental. However, in the laboratory, so far it works. When you have water vapor and you have dust particles or ice crystals, you can precipitate rain. It condenses around the seeds. These seeds can also be created by laser beams. By finding and truly want lasers, you rip apart the electrons, create what are called ions. But these ions act like seeds, like dust particles, bringing down rain and even lightning. All right. Well, I, I, this is fascinates me in part because, too, I remember reading the stories that China had used this during the Olympics. Yeah. The Come on, it's been going on for a hundred years. Create rain clouds. I mean, did those really work then? We have some of these capabilities yes. now. Inconclusive. Even in Inconclusive. The <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna leave the leave the link of Richie from Boston, Jailbreak Overlander, in the description box. Actually, this is from. 5280 Skywatch. Thanks for watching. God bless.